How do you create a box plot? In this lesson, you will learn to graphically represent data by creating a box plot. Let's review. There are three things to keep in mind regarding a box plot. First, it's shaped like a box. Second, 50% of the data is inside the box. And third, the five number summary provides the structure or framework for the box. Just a quick reminder regarding median and quartiles. Think of balancing the data on a teeter-totter. Here is a small set of data with a median of 5. You'll notice three numbers on each side. To find quartile 1 and quartile 3, find the middle of each half. Remember, the five number summary is your guide. The lower extreme is the smallest piece of data in the set. Quartile 1, referred to as Q1, is the median or middle of the lower half of the data. It forms the left side of the box. The median is represented by a line inside the box, and quartile 3 is the right side and is the median of the upper half of the data. Finally, the upper extreme completes the box plot. Sometimes a box plot is referred to as a box and whisker the whiskers being the lines connecting the box to the upper and lower extremes. Essentially, a box plot divides the data into fourths, so we'll consider how the data gets split up and what percentage of data is located in each section. First, the median cuts the data in half, and even though the left side is bigger, it still contains 50% of the values. Next, the quartiles cut each half in half, you'll see that each section contains 25% or a fourth of the data. The size of the section doesn't matter. 25% of the values are located in each section. A common misunderstanding is interpreting the length of the whiskers as a quantity of data within the whiskers. So the longer the whisker, the more data, and the shorter the whisker, the less data. But this is incorrect. Don't forget, each section of the box plot contains a fourth or 25% of the data. I want to represent the ages of family members at a reunion using a box plot. Because bo box plots are based on the median, I have to put the data in numerical order. Once the data is in order, I can work on finding the five number summary. I always start by identifying the upper and lower extremes because they're easy. Now to find the median. I'm going to highlight 12 values from the beginning and 12 values from the end, leaving me with 25 in the middle, which is the median. Now that I have my two halves and the median identified, I can split the lower half in half to find quartile 1. When I cross off 6 values from the beginning and 6 from the end, I don't have a number in the middle, so I will need to find the number that is halfway between 18 and 19, which is 18 and a half. I can do the same with quartile 3. Again, when I cross off 6 values from the beginning and 6 from the end, I don't have a number in the middle, so I'll need to find the number that is halfway between 45 and 46, which is 45 and a half. I quickly identify the values of the five number summary and give myself a number line on which to create the box plot. Using the five number summary, I place lines on the number line that will give me the structure of the box plot. I make a box that contains the data from quartile 1 to quartile 3 and draw lines to connect the box to the lower and upper extreme. Don't forget a title and label to communicate to the reader what the data is. In this lesson, you have learned to graphically represent data by creating a box plot.